What's up? This is Creativity is an idea podcast, a source of creativity for creative people. And I am your host, Pyrek. This is where creative entertaining guest talks about their ideas, their fun moments, their challenges and setbacks that led to their growth. And it's for creative entertaining people who wants ideas and a sense of belonging or anybody out there who admires creative things and wants to be entertained and inspired to do whatever they want in life. So please stay tuned because it's going to be refreshing and entertaining. And one more thing, please, I would encourage you to subscribe, share, rate us. It will help bring more quality guests onto the show for you to get more value out of this show. It's going to be a banger. Stay tuned for the next episode and the current episode you're about to listen now. So creative people, before you start listening to this, I want to tell you that you know, we decided to do something crazy. We talked behind the scene and I am not going to take it out. So in case you hear a pause and a talk behind the scene, just pay attention to what we are talking about. We talked about some things which I probably should edit, but I'm not going to edit. So just enjoy. And it was episode 30. Nice. So stay tuned. It's going to be a banger. All right. What's going on, creative people? This is Creativity is an Idea Podcast, a source of creativity for creative entertaining people. Yo, Sonny, let me adjust my chair so that I don't fall over. So, man, it's an honor to have you here and thank you. You know what? It's an honor myself. Recently, I just just posted uh, something on Instagram story saying music producers are the the, the wizard behind the curtains definitely because without them every music will be on a cappella you know definitely definitely, <laughs> definitely. They, they, they they helps everything a musician say sort of fall in tune in our ears and our lives and we move with the groove we move with the music we move with the sound exactly. so i would say music producers are really relevant and i can't express that uh relevant i would just be simple enough to say that's an understatement beautiful uh as a producer we are the creator of the wave Mm -hmm. uh our sound is the the present Mm -hmm. the future and the forever if it's if it's impactful enough it will be deemed classic and and it will live forever uh nowadays especially in commercial music right now where everybody's quote unquote mumbling. <laughs> the heartbeat right now uh-huh. is the production, the engineer, the 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 master of the sound. And honestly, that mumble is just a filler to the instrument that you hear is that is that noise mm-hmm. by the producer. So yes, we are more than relevant. Yeah, that is excellent. So creative people creative entertainers um admirers this is pirate your host by the way and this is sonny champ the owner of pain and power production he's a music producer so stay tuned and listen and i believe anything he's going to say here if you are a music producer you are obviously going to find something out of this conversation which will be relevant to whatever you do and if you are Someone who admires creative things, I believe you get some nuggets here, which will also inspire you to do what you want to do in life. Because um, being a music producer is um, different from following the um, go to college. Though right. you may have you may have to get some education, right. training, school, but it gets to a certain point. It's not a nine to five. It's it, definitely not a nine to five. It's a twenty four hour thing. It's, it's life. It's uh, life, and I I honestly can say it's a choice, mm-hmm. a conscious choice, conscious choice. Yeah, you can't half step it. You can't you can't play with it. You got to make a conscious decision and just jump mm-hmm. and be relentless and learning something new every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, making sure that your sound is unique. I mean, we all start trying to quote unquote mirror what's popular or whatever. Uh-huh. But you got to separate yourself out here. Yeah. Uh, that's the only way to be relevant. 
that's the only way to be relevant if you are unique you will be relevant and i tell you this sonny yes sir i want to ask you man you know i know you're more mature than i am i've been on this earth for a while but you're more mature than i am so i, I want to ask you <laughs> <laughs> how was your childhood like when you were growing oh, up oh my childhood was dope my childhood was dope uh born in texas raised in south carolina camden south carolina highway 97 baby um i'm the oldest of my of my family i got one sister mm -hmm. uh came up with both parents uh just a regular country boy throwing rocks and getting in fights man very competitive play sports uh class clown i uh -huh. love to laugh uh but one thing about uh roasting a motherfucker if you can't roast yourself you can't roast nobody else. Oh, boy. <laughs> Being able to make humor out of yourself. Yeah, if you can't laugh at yourself, you can't laugh at nobody else, man. That's 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 all a part of just being human. You know, we all fall sometimes. Wow. Yeah, nobody's better than nobody. Everybody's equal. Wow. You, you mentioned a number in it. Did you say 97? Uh, Highway 97. Highway 97. Yeah. And what is that? Uh, that's uh, if you're from... Or have, have ever heard of Camden, South Carolina? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a main highway that'll take you, basically, uh, in route to Charlotte. Oh, it's a back road, um, all country, all all trees, all deer. You ain't got to worry about uh, getting put over by the cops. You got to worry about running over a deer and totaling your car. <laughs> but uh, good folk out there, man. Mm -hmm. uh, we 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 grew up on on Southern principle, mm -hmm. which means. Uh, you, if y'all leave together, y'all come home together. Mm -hmm. If if uh, one of y'all get in a fight, y'all fight together. So if right or wrong, we we we'll swap that shit out when we get back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is excellent. So, Sonny, tell me, man. I know, growing up, you were born in Texas. Yes, sir. Colleen, Texas. Where? Colleen. Colleen. Yeah, Colleen. My, my, yeah, my pops was in the Killeen, army. Uh, Texas. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he he was in the army at the time. So. That made you move around a lot sometimes? Uh honestly, um he got out of the military uh when I was uh a year old. Oh. So yeah, I'm really a I'm really a Carolina baby. That's excellent. So tell me, like growing up or even now, mm -hmm. what events wouldn't you forget? That I wouldn't forget? Mm hmm Oh uh, man, a couple of things I won't forget. Uh the first time uh I saw my sister. Mm -hmm. uh the first time i fell in love uh the first time uh, i got my heart broke uh <laughs> the first time i got in a fight mm -hmm. the first time i got me some <laughs> uh yeah uh the, the first time i knew what friendship was mm -hmm. the first time i got betrayed mm -hmm. uh the first time uh i slammed dunk you know what i'm talking about okay. unforgettable uh you know what? Let me pause you in your tracks right now. Go ahead. I want you to talk about it. First time you got betrayed. Betrayed? Yeah. Just tell us about the situation, how it happened, how you felt, and was it a good feeling oh, or man. a bad, wonderful feeling? Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, to be honest with you, it hurt. It hurt a lot. Uh, I'm a simple guy, man. Um, loyalty is everything to me. Mm -hmm. Loyalty is everything to me. And uh, I don't have any brothers, so coming up, we stuck together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We really stuck together. Good or good or bad, we stuck together. Uh the first time I got betrayed, man, was um basically when our backs was I won't even say against the wall, but it was time to make a decision when you either could have told the truth mm -hmm. or play bitch. And my man played bitch in the in the in I appreciate him for doing that, though. I really do. I really appreciate him for doing that because uh, sometimes you gotta you gotta you gotta grow up and separate yourself from mm -hmm. things. You know what I'm saying? So when, once you see the face of people mm -hmm. or see the character of a man, mm -hmm. you become a man when you make a decision. So it's just all a part of growing up. And I still love my brother. Still love your brother. Still love my brother. Just don't fuck with them, though. <laughs> yeah. And creative people, any, the audience, if you're listening, I believe um, 
you are not lost but what he's trying to say is that just be careful just be careful just be like careful that. and he may not really want to mostly we try to drive everything out of the person the guest here but i think he doesn't really want to go into the details so we understand matter of fact i i do have one that i'm, I'm willing to talk about let's real, see real let's see i'm ready man real simple i, I got a home lay back <laughs> uh my homeboy ice mm-hmm. uh this is in my college days i see uh no nah, just ice <laughs> just ice he got his name cuz he couldn't shoot no jumpers ice oh. cold man <laughs> but uh yes simple day just coming from class about to go in the crib uh smoke a blunt you know what i'm talking about mm-hmm. uh my homie he stayed across the courtyard we pretty much uh stayed in the same apartment complex uh-huh. we all got in trouble together got kicked out of off campus together so we off the yard together uh-huh. so he was like yo what you doing same shit he was like threw his hand up so we met each other in the courtyard halfway mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying he was like yo walk with me where i'm from you know if, if we if we brothers mm-hmm. you ain't really gotta t- get into too many details if you say yo take a ride with me just, or if you say you take a go. walk with me we taking a walk together so long story short we ended up going to another apartment uh my homie wanted to get some more green got in the place uh we knew who the, well I knew who the, who the person was behind the door mm-hmm. is he a friend of mine nah I, we just passed you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. out of respect when we go into the place I stay at the door the threshold mm-hmm. because this is none of my business mm-hmm. I'm just with my bro mm-hmm. so they do what they do we walk out we walking back across the courtyard to my spot Halfway across the courtyard, this motherfucker yelling on his balcony like, "Yo, Sonny, I know what you did, motherfucker. I'm a what da 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 da." Right? Now keep in mind, I'm just minding my business. Uh-huh. But you feel like you want to say my name? You got some things to say off your chest, right? Uh-huh. Okay, we grown men, so automatically, no matter what the fuck going on, what's happening? Mm-hmm. Bring that, you know what I'm saying? Just like, tell me. Yeah, yeah. If it's go time, let's green light this shit. Right? So, my bro, I, I look at my bro, like, what the fuck this motherfucker talking about, right? Mm-hmm. My bro cuff his hand, like, I got him, yo. I don't give a shit what you do, right or wrong, good or bad, or we together, we together, you feel me? Mm-hmm. The least you could have did out of respect of me being your brother is at least let me know what the fuck I'm stepping in. Oh, okay. That's like you robbing a motherfucking bank, dog, and I don't know it. Oh. In my eyes, in principle. You feel me? hmm So, when this motherfucker is calling, calling my name out and I'm just a bystander, of course, I'm going to stand on my ground as a man. You feel me? hmm But at the end of the day, I'm going to question you as my friend, bro. Like, because number one, if you did it and you know what the fuck this motherfucker talking about before I even know have a clue of what he's saying, why the fuck you ain't goddamn either either say something? Mm-hmm. Not to say that you should have, but if this is your fight or or, or, or if this is the the shit that you did, be accountable, bro. Be accountable and responsible. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, he played the bitch move and said, "Yo." Uh, my bad, bro. It ain't like that. I know my bro ain't no real, you know, ball your fist up type of fella. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, be man of what you do. Um, yeah. So that one simple incident was a truth teller mm-hmm. of character. Of character. It don't matter if you rock with a motherfucker for five minutes or five years. One moment can define your ass. Yep. Uh. And I still love my brother. Yeah. I understand that. Um, I wish I could put myself into your shoes, but I believe some of the audience out there could put themselves into your shoes. And I I watch a movie. Was it Delivery Man? One of the movies. They just say, hey, just sit in the car. We're going to um, play uh, baseball. Mm -hmm. And they went to, he was just sitting in the car waiting. He stopped in the middle of the 
what was it in the middle of the road side yeah. he parked on the side or something and these guys went to rob a bank hey. and he had no clue it goes down like that so then he was taken to he was the only one caught <laughs> It goes down like that. Then he was put taken into prison, stayed in for a while, then came out. Then he actually robbed the bank this time. <laughs> it was like I went to prison for something I didn't do. Right. Now nah, let me do it. Yeah. Hey, life is a lesson or a blessing. It's a lesson. Sometimes it's very bad when some people are not clear about what. Yeah. They they know and they just you know they're guilty by association. That's the wrong thing to be. Yeah. I feel you on that, man. So that was Sunny Sunny Champ. So man, I want you to tell me, man, when and how did you decide to become a music producer? Because I believe at some point in life, someone who decided to do something, yeah, you know, there were situations, there were certain experiences that made that person say, "Okay, good, this is what I'm going to do," and everything I'm seeing now is reinforcing me uh-huh. to do it. So, what points? And how did you decide to become a music producer? Uh, honestly, bro, it had nothing to do with music. Mm. Nothing. Nothing to do with music. The reason why I chose music production mm-hmm. is because I was going through hell and I needed something to save my life. Mm. I was really going through hell, man. Like uh, in a career where I was... Doing very well, mm-hmm. very well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to ask you for shit. I'll hustle my way to it. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. And uh, got to a point to where things, even though you are the truth, somebody can just look you dead in your face and tell you that you are not who you are. And because it's, quote, unquote, a corporate America and you're not the boss of your own shit. Mm-hmm. That shit can actually fly, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, that was that was that was that was one level of it. Another level of it was just my personal life, man. Uh, going through a marriage, man, of hell. Uh, no disrespect to that other person, cause God bless her. You feel me? But um, shit was just upside down in my life, man. And uh, I needed something. I needed something that I that I can touch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, don't get in no fucking bullshit. So, I let the rhythm move me. I just poured my soul into the sound, man. I poured my soul into the sound to where it talked back to me. Mm -hmm. That's why I became a producer. That's why you became a producer. That is excellent, I believe. Huh. And that's why you got pain and power. Pain and interesting <laughs> yeah, that's why okay pain and power that's the reason you named it that way and uh uh-huh. okay at certain point in careers i believe you feel um i felt that way before mm-hmm. i felt i wasn't i felt stagnant mm-hmm. i felt you're doing stuff you're going day out you're doing stuff just that you feel there's no progress even yeah. if there is progress, you feel your heart is not into it. You just have to um, dread yourself to go in there and work. Mm-hmm. And one thing that kills me most is if, let's say, for instance, let's say I want to have a clothing line. Right, right, right. If I should be working somewhere, mm-hmm. I should be working at a place that I can gain experience exactly. to help me venture more into my clothing line mm-hmm. but i shouldn't be working in a, a restaurant unless maybe they are paying me a lot so that i can f- f- uh, fund my clothing line exactly exactly if not it's like damn what am i doing here there's a disconnect so day in day out when you're going to, going into work you don't feel like working and no at some point i just walk off during during my break you know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which is very bad <laughs> No, I get it. Yeah. I totally get it, man. So I understand why you decided to. I can be on the same page with you when it comes to feeling a certain way and wanting an outlet. Oh yeah. To express yourself. Oh Pain yeah. Pain and power production. So creative people, if you are listening, at the end of this episode, he is going to drop his information, and they will be in the description for you to 
check him out to see what he got and if you're a music person you are in the you're an artist and you want to check him out to see what he does click the link and it will lead you to what he does so man sonny yes sir you know there is this um you know let me ask you first since you said pain and power uh-huh. what is your source of creativity say that again that your source of creativity my source of creativity mm-hmm. straight energy straight energy um i i go in with no with no plan uh that's dangerous though let's listen <laughs> uh no i i seriously go in with no plan whatever my moment is mm-hmm. is what the music will be mm-hmm. if i'm going through hell I'll probably make a sound that's going to inspire me, make me feel better. Mm-hmm. Or uh hit you with something that's dark. Uh but I always start with a clean slate. Mm-hmm. I always start with a clean slate. Uh sometimes, you know, I try to brainstorm and may say uh well, actually let me rephrase that. Mm-hmm. Uh being a producer, you have to more or less in, to grow. Mm-hmm. You have to challenge yourself and do new things. Mm-hmm. So, even though I'll say hypothetically I'm going in with a clean slate, I'm always trying to better my sound. Yeah. Uh better uh the technique. Mm-hmm. Um learn, man. Learn, learn, learn. Learn. Uh don't be afraid to ask. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid to sit and watch somebody who's quote unquote doing what you're doing, mm-hmm. or somebody who's rocking harder than you. Mm-hmm. Show them love and, and and ask them, can I can I learn? Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. Uh, at the same time, be willing to give. Yeah. Uh, my model of success is giving so much that the universe pay you back. Giving so much that. Giving, you're giving so much giving that the so universe, much that the universe pays just you back. pay you back. That is excellent. So you know, let me put you on a hot spot now. I wasn't gonna ask this, but nah, go for it. Go for so it. So let's say I'm a musician, right? Yeah. I'm a rapper. Maybe I, let's say I'm an R and B musician, yeah. artist, and I come to you, and I have this lyrics, man. I wrote it, and I want a beat to it. Mm-hmm. How would you? go on to make this happen to work with me let's to say work I, with I have you? a lyric so let's say you okay you you approach me uh-huh you, you tell me which one you want to talk about me being an R&B musician coming to you with a lyrics okay this is what I have and I have a melody in my head mm-hmm. how are you going to help me get things done get it done or you have a beat mm-hmm. and I'm an R&B musician and so yo I have a beat I think it will suit you that's your type right which one would you want to sort of walk us through um we can do both I do it real All fast right. let's do it um let's say hypothetically mm-hmm. you an artist yeah. um I'm rocking I'm I'm watching your show mm-hmm. uh I think you're dope mm-hmm. I'm going to be humble enough mm-hmm. to look you in your eyes and shake your hand and mm-hmm. introduce myself and say, how you doing? Mm-hmm. I'm Sonny Champ, Pain and Power Productions. I made that noise. I'm humbled, and um, I follow what you do. Mm-hmm. I would love to build. I would love to work with you. Uh, I'm relentless in my work ethic. Being good is boring. Let's be great. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a balance between music and music business. Mm-hmm. We make sure we handle both ends, and we can do it. You can do it. Um, do you mind sending a message to my manager, please? <laughs> I'd be happy to. I would be happy to. Yeah. Because there's no such thing as a no. You, you you find a way to make it right. Yeah. I feel you on that. So now I come to you. I have a melody in my head and a lyrics to it. Mm-hmm. How are you going to walk me through to create it, to make that music come out? Okay. Uh, I would, number one... Uh, let you hear a couple of my sounds mm-hmm. to see if anything, if you gravitate to it, mm-hmm. um, depending on your beat per minute, your cadence, I may have the tempo that you, that, that fits that cadence. Mm-hmm. Uh, you may like it. You may not. 
Uh, if not, we can build from scratch. Mm, I love that. I love that from scratch. Yeah. Um, I'm willing to work, man. There's there's no such thing as a no to me. I will find a way to make it right. To make it right. Yeah. That is excellent. You know what? The first time I went to a studio, I've been to the studio back in Ghana multiple times. And one time, you know, you know, the guy was charging and I didn't want to pay because I didn't have the money to pay for the sound. Mm-hmm. So I sincerely networked with him. He's a cool guy, Baba. And one time, you know, I write, I wrote some lyrics, mm-hmm. had a melody, went in there and I sort of fa- found a way for us to create the beat to it. Mm-hmm. I lost that beat. Yeah. And it, it it was, you know, first time doing something, you think, that is it. Yeah, I did it. But as time goes on and you see a lot of stuff, you understand certain things, you mm-hmm. learn certain mm-hmm. things, like, oh, hmm, I could have gone about it this way. So working with a music producer, creating something from scratch is something which is beautiful, you know. Right. And they go through a lot. Trials, okay, let's do this. No. Nope. We can't do that. That doesn't sound right. Let's oh, try yeah. this. Definitely. No. Cadence is not hitting on, on this. Let's do this again. So Definitely. I feel you on that. And not yeah. to cut you off, but mm-hmm. one thing people do not understand or mm-hmm. take for granted is this. Most hits, mm-hmm. classics, has been a song that's been rewritten at mm-hmm. least 30 fucking times. Been recorded with a thousand takes. Mm-hmm. And they pick just that one line. So... When it comes to making real fucking music, mm-hmm. understand it takes time. It takes patience. Mm-hmm. It takes dedication. It takes willingness to listen to one another, to understand sometimes less is more. Sometimes you want something different that I may not even like, but I will give it to you mm-hmm. because that as the artist, that's what you're looking for and vice versa. So, Yeah. Yeah, music takes time. You know, this may be a digression. Let me ask you, man. You, have you have you gotten the chance to check um, the card of five, Lil Wayne? No, no, I have not. I okay. have not. I, I, I don't watch TV and I barely listen to the world. The world, okay. He, his, his album, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne album, the five, is cool. Um... I like I like few of the sounds and the lyrics and certain things. It just sort of tells us he's there. Yeah, he, he's, he's he's the guy. Yeah, he 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 raps. He knows how to raps and stuff. Just that there isn't nothing much um, sh- to it, you know. Ah, it, it, that's how I feel now. Or maybe when I go over the no, I'll, no, I'll, I mean, I'll feel different. But one, one first impressions are the ones that normally stick, though. Yeah. One of um, Mona Lisa, one track he featured, no, um, Kendrick Lamar was on that track. Oh, it was cool. Kendrick is dope. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Anyway, let's 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 get back on track. So, Sonny, I want to ask you, man. Yeah. Day in day out, mm-hmm. as a music producer, mm-hmm. what do you do to see progress? To see progress. What do I do to see progress? homework uh studying Mm -hmm. studying new techniques studying ways to enhance my sound Mm -hmm. uh building with the builders building with the builders let me repeat that Mm -hmm. building Building with with the the builders builders. the creators Mm -hmm. the a alikes the ones who got the same passion as you Mm -hmm. build with them chill with them Mm -hmm. and when it come down to the competition kill with them you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like, for real, like, like that's how you get better. Don't be an island. Do not be an island. Uh, yeah, yeah, steady, man. Do your homework and, and, and surround yourself with, with greatness, and you will be great. And keep your circle small. Keep your circle keep small. Keep your circle small. I was listening to this guy, Daz the Witch Boy. He was on this show. I checked out his EP. And he, one of his lines in one of his rap, he was like, my circle is too small. It ends where it starts. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, yeah. Fact. <laughs> it ends where it starts. Fact. That, that's a really small dot. <laughs> yeah, because the energy around you can, can, can it's, it's not a can. The energy around you will influence you. Yeah. 
it can either enhance you mm-hmm. or that or it can be toxic. I've been around both I, and I've made the decision to keep that toxic shit away from me. Well, so Sonny, man, Sonny champ, tell me, talking about making a decision and staying away from toxic things. Yes, sir. There is this Newton's law, which I'm going to paraphrase. Then I'll ask you this. This Newton's law says, I'm paraphrasing. Mm-hmm. In order for you to go up, you have to let certain things down, down, yes. down, so yes. that you can move up. Yes. So coming up, doing your music production, everything business-wise, mm-hmm. personal life, mm-hmm. what are some of the things you have to let go before you saw gradual progress? Honestly? Mm-hmm. I had to let go of everything. And I don't mean everything like, I mean everything like, if you are not a part of me growing, Mm -hmm. you were weed in my garden. Shoot. Okay. If you're not part of me growing. If you are not water or fertilizer in my life, you are a weed in my garden. I have to pull you out. I got to pull you out. Uh, and I mean that by, and and, 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 I, and I had to start with myself. Mm-hmm. That's the most important thing. I had to start with myself. I can't point the finger at nobody in this world, man, until I can look at myself in the mirror and be like, yo, you fucking up. Mm-hmm. Yo, get your shit together. Yo, put that time in. Not yo, kidding. Yeah. And, yo, and, wake up. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like for real, real. Like that's truly where it started, and uh, and it ended with everything else. I I don't watch TV. I don't I don't even follow sports no more. And I'm a diehard cowboy fan for all the cowboy fans in the world. <laughs> hey, <laughs> someone behind us in is showing middle <laughs> fingers. Actually, yeah, too. Yeah, they doubly hate us, but we still here. We still here. The French will say do middle fingers. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but but yeah, man. I'm, all I do is work. All I do is work. My my focus is the mission. Nothing else matter. What makes me smile mm-hmm. is w- crossing out one of my goals on my whiteboard and, re- and writing a new goal up there. Mm-hmm. That make me smile now. Do you have a whiteboard in your room? Yes, sir, I do. Do you know why I'm asking? Because when he was talking about his whiteboard, he was looking behind me. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, this is not your whiteboard. <laughs> yeah. That is a painting. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. But that's normally like <laughs> yeah. where my vision go for my board. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can read people so easily sometimes. They really mean what they are talking about. So that is good. So you have to let go everything. And if you are not part of my growth, you are a weed. And my God, you are fat. Yep. Yeah. You, if you're not a water, if you're not a fertilizer, if you're not a good soil, if you are not even one of those good plants, mm-hmm. oh, I'm sorry, you're a weed. And probably I'll pull you up and smoke you. Um, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pass that. <laughs> uh, I wish I smoked. Anyway, just kidding. Um, that's interesting. So, Sonny, I want you to, um, I will be, it will get to a point. It's going to be very tough because he said you won't. You don't watch TV, so I wonder how we're going to gossip. But we you know we will find something to yeah. talk about. Um, I want you to tell me. Give me three helpful tip. Any three helpful tip? Three helpful tips. Yeah. L- let's let's stay in music. You know, three life helpful tips in music. Yeah, three helpful tips. Anybody in music industry who is trying to be a music producer. I like your haircut though. Thank you. I'm Thank trying you. to be like you. Thank you. Just came just came from the shop oh. for the interview. You know, I might not be on the camera, but I'm on the camera, you know. <laughs> yeah, I see. You got a fresh cut. Yeah. Excuse, excuse. Let's excuse, get excuse. back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um three helpful tips. Anybody who wants to be a music producer. Uh number one. Mm-hmm. Number one. Number one. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself to the point where you already see the end. Because if you don't see the finish line, man, how the fuck are you going to run that lap? Gee, um, I don't know. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, pick a mentor. Pick a mentor. Pick a mentor. Find somebody who can shoot further than you, can run faster than you, mm-hmm. and hit harder than you. And steady under him. 
mm-hmm. or hurt, mm-hmm. whoever that is. And number three, invest in yourself. Take a lot of sleep. Um, no, just kidding. <laughs> tell yeah. us, invest in yourself. Yeah, invest in yourself. What do you mean by invest in yourself? Invest in yourself uh, financially. Uh, invest in yourself mentally. Invest in yourself time wise. If you don't put that time in, I promise you, you're gonna stay still. So, invest in yourself, and don't be afraid to spend that dollar, man. Mm-hmm. Because this is a business. It's a business. Passion and business, we call it PB. Um, so let me summarize what he said. If you're a music producer, this is if you're an up and coming music producer and you want some helpful tips, which may be a no brainer. However, certain common things is what we forget to remind ourselves of daily, day mm-hmm. in, day out. Mm-hmm. So let me repeat what he just said. First, you have to. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You have to see the end. And mind you, please, it may be cloudy along the way. The end may be cloudy, but you know, you have a glimpse of what you want. You want to, you're looking for something and you have an end in mind. And there's this saying, let's say you're going to, you're going back to Texas, right? Mm -hmm. You can see all the way to Texas, but you're going to see 300 yards, 500 yards, 300 yards, 500 yards ahead of you. And even you see some curves, which even doesn't allow you to see the other mm-hmm. 500. But as long as you keep going, you, will you get detour, there. you find, you flat tire, you get gas, you mm-hmm. eat, you get sidetracked, you get back on track, you keep going, you will get there because you have some a destination in mind. Yes, sir. You know, so one, see the end, have the end in mind and keep going. And two, find a mentor who will sort of be a guideline for you. You be yourself, but find a mentor so that it will help shorten the time frame which you will be using to achieve whatever you want. And three, invest in yourself financially, time-wise, invest time into what you do, your master your craft day in, day out. Um, it's business. Don't be scared to uh, put in the dollars, you know, when you can, when you have it. If you don't have it, get it, please. <laughs> and yeah. invest in yourself, you know. So that is it. So let me ask you, Sonny. Um, is there anything you got going on which you would want us to know? Uh, the one thing that uh, I learned a long, long time ago is mm-hmm. this. Uh, you say less and you show more. So, Mm -hmm. I will say I'm working hard. Mm -hmm. I will say uh, there are things coming. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave it at that. There are things coming. And he will leave it at that. Because you say less than you show more. So, if you want to see what he is up to, click on the link in the description and explore what he's up to. And you may be listening to this in 2019, 2022, 2000. Maybe I'm dead. Never. In 20, 2040, <laughs> 2080 or something. You're good. I can cut it. Is there anything need to be communicated? No, sir. Uh, I would just say. Uh, you got nothing. I mean, you, you can edit it. That's good. Uh-huh. Um, little things that I was just going to suggest to you. Like, for example, you know, you were talking about the investment. Well, your investment should be about investing in your craft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you just say, you know, I don't really talk about it, I'd rather show it. Well, that's right. Don't talk about it, be about it. Exactly. All right. So, you know, you're doing great. Thank oh, you. God. You're doing a fabulous job. You just need a producer. Producer in terms of what? <clears throat> in what way? So you, you contacted them or y'all hooked up some kind of way. Yeah. And you supplied them with questions. Mm-hmm. Who did you run the questions by? Um, so far, few friends, okay, but so are they standard questions you ask everybody? Yes, but I sort of tweak it sometimes. I digress mm-hmm. based on what, what mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. And I can't wait to see it. I hope you aren't capturing my flashes. 
It'll be okay. They will know what it is. The head needs to say someone's behind the scene. And mostly certain things I don't edit it. Maybe I'll probably leave this in. <laughs> nice. 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 Yeah. Hey, sometimes I'm telling you, man, uh raw in truth, mm -hmm. it wins every time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and that comes across yeah um, when that's conveyed um, when there's just something that can't be manufactured yep yep and you know what at a certain point when he was talking about his friends I felt some emotions in him and his facial expression like okay I was about to <laughs> give a cue like yo the guy is emotional but then I stopped you know yeah, it almost sounds like he's being driven by anger yeah he he was emotional about it like okay I saw his from like okay yo you're not there anymore. You're here. So. Hey, my bad, bro. My bad. My but it's bad. good. Be real. Be real. Be with yourself. The, I don't know the anger part of him. I can tell you that. Believe me. Oh, man. I apologize. No, no. No need to be yourself, Jew. That's why I say we try to sort of bring things out of people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is this? Sometimes even I say I'm blank and I even say it on it. Yeah. And I wait till I remember, till I remember the questions. And great um, questions, bro. Like, thank seriously. you. Thank you. You guys inspired me to have those questions. And we are looking to improve it uh, day in, day out to help anybody who is listening. Anyways, Kuzku. Thank you, man. He said he's behind the scene and he doesn't want to come in. But look. The cool part <laughs> is, is like, for example, mm -hmm. uh, let's say if I was your producer, you know, I'd be having cue cards up here to flash what questions you should be asking. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You know, that would really, yeah. Be, you know, so. And I tell, just, an idea. just an idea. And I tell you what, let's say if I was a music producer, mm -hmm. I have a ton of, I would say I have a ton of experience. Mm -hmm. And I will be asking you certain questions which are really, really inside mm -hmm. the minds of Producer. music producers. One, one thing you could ask mm -hmm. in relation to music producers, uh -huh. uh, what what type of equipment they use. Mm -hmm. Like if another producer is watching another producer, they'd be like, oh, what, the, what the fuck he make his noise on? Mm -hmm. Like that's one of the first questions I ask a producer that I see. I'd be like, like last night when I saw Master Key, mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck you make? Uh, what's your software? Like that's the, like that's like. See, so you're, you're a tech head. No, that's a producer question. But that's even a though, even though you are artists, yeah, you have an artistic flair, but yet still, I mean, I mean even even where we met, yeah, on the technical spectrum, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, guess what? You put yourself on the spot. So, Sonny, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I have a question, man. Go for it. I've been wondering. I've been wondering, and I can I have sleepless night <laughs> because <laughs> I'm a music producer and I'm coming up and I want to improve my sound. So tell me, man. Uh huh. What kind of equipment do you use, man? I use, uh, actually, when I first started uh, uh, making beats, I started off in FL, Studio, FL Studios mm -hmm. or Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops, yeah. Yeah, uh, everybody knows about Fruity Loops. Um, and I've since graduated or moved on to uh, Machine. Mm -hmm. Machine is uh, made by Native Instrument, mm -hmm. and it's a monster, man. It changed my it changed my sound. Yeah, it changed my sound. No disrespect to Fruity Loops because I know great producers who still cook in Fruity Loops. Um, but just it was just my personal experience that Machine. I just got a different sound out of Machine, and I've been rocking with Machine rocking ever with since. It. That is excellent. That's good to know. Wow, what is the next question? Yo, so um, <laughs> <laughs> Sonny Chan. Yeah. Sonny, Sonny Champ. I told you I went blank, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We, we'll be flowing. Mm -hmm. So, we'll be gossiping, but tell me, man. The music industry, mm -hmm. the music production industry, mm -hmm. production industry, what are your views? <sighs> My views on the music production industry uh, is dog, is dog, eat dog, uh, is cutthroat. It's cutthroat. You are uh, cut. It cut. Yeah, delicious. Yeah. Uh, you definitely have to 
be genuine in order. And the best way I can p- kind of paraphrase it is try to be as pure and unique to yourself and your sound as you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, because right now, man, the sound is just a, it's like a it's like a whorehouse. Everybody's trying to make the same noise just to fit into that bag of I want the bag. So fucking what? Nobody know you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't focus on the bag. Focus on the sound, the music. If you focus on the sound and the music, man, everything will fall in place. Think long, not short. Think long term, not short term. Focus on the not bag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't focus on the bag. Focus on producing, being genuine and producing what makes you unique. Yes, sir. So that everything will fall in place. And it may come, you may follow a trend, but no, you have to differentiate yourself yeah. out of the trends. Yeah. That will make you you. I guess anybody who even started a trend was unique to what they do until it became a trend for people to follow. Yeah. I mean, uh, I told my bro earlier today uh, about, uh, he said, uh, uh, we got to create the wave. Mm-hmm. I was like, bro, fuck creating the wave. Think about it like this. We are the water. Mm-hmm. We are, we more than the wave, man. They don't exist without us. They don't exist without us. It's just be just wind and something blowing on a yeah. desert. Yeah. So You are the water. Yeah. Well, well, well. As the fro- frog will say, well, we shall see. <laughs> um, so, Sonny, uh, we are about to wrap up. You know, I think I've forgotten some of the questions because I keep thinking about certain things you were saying. Oh, man, that's dope. What's, what, what do you think? What's the, uh, what am I thinking of? Yeah, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking about we are the water, not the wave. Yes, sir. We are the water, not the wave. Because you... Without the water, there is no wave. There is no wave. Without the wind, there is no wave. Without gravity, there is no wave. There's no wave. So we, right now, what we're talking about is Earth Wind 5. The three elements. elements. You need all of them. So, so, so. I'm okay. Wow. Interesting. So, man, <clears throat> I want you to tell us, anybody out there listening, mm-hmm. You starting, you becoming what you are now. I want you to s- just share certain things which you think you wish you had known when you were starting. That I had known mm-hmm. when I was starting. That I don't know now? You wish you had known when you were starting. Uh, things I wish I had known. Uh, when I was starting, I I would first off say I wish I had knew the circle of people that I know today Mm -hmm. because I'm around great energy, man. Everybody I Mm -hmm. associate with, I'm sure, without a doubt, they will be successful in their craft. Mm -hmm. Um, And the only reason why I say that is because that would have put uh, the process just in a, in a in a rocket more or less but i'm not i'm I'm in no rush timing is perfect Mm -hmm. timing is absolutely perfect that is interesting interesting so man let's gossip yeah i'm gonna put you on the spot you gotta talk about something yeah let's talk about something something. what you want to talk about at this point (laughs) we are going to gossip it's a private conversation by the way if you want to listen cool um, we are going to, <laughs> we are going to gossip. We are going to vent. We are going to whine. We are going to um, compliment. We are going to criticize yeah. any public issue. Yeah, yeah. Global, celebrity, personal thing, um, family thing, friends thing. Just, yeah. just let it out. Yeah. What is on your mind? Some people will talk about politics. Some will talk about relationships. Some will talk about the food they ate. Some will talk, anyway. Ah. Uh. Well, uh, tell me. Let's talk about let's talk about the boys and the girls, man. Let's talk about the 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 the, the grasshoppers and the and the butterflies. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, bring me home, please. Bring me home. Bring me home. I mean, 
we we did drop a couple bombs, you know, and a couple jewels about the music. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about a little bit of life. You know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? Okay. Uh, I would consider myself uh, a grown man when it comes to a woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when it comes to a relationship, mm -hmm. I can say been there, done that, played, you know, all four seasons, got the T-shirt and burnt that bitch, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh but uh, we definitely need to let the universe and the world know that um, we all got to just be accountable. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of young men out here who ain't grown men. Oh. And that's not talking shit. That's just keeping it real. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, age is not a number. I mean, age is just a fucking yeah. number. Wisdom uh, comes with experience and responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and if I can encourage any 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 young man out here who uh, is going through, you know, any doubt within himself, I would say just look yourself in the mirror, man, and um, dust yourself off. We all done fail one time. Mm -hmm. uh, to any young lady out here who is insecure about herself and don't feel like she's beautiful, uh, know you are. You know? Know you solid. Uh Understand that even though you may be taking care of two kids or going to school at the same time and working a job and trying to take care of your parents at the same time, that you were super, you are a superhero, you know. But notice, it is not your responsibility to take that load by yourself. It take it took two to make. Mm -hmm. It take two to take care of. So. Uh, if I can throw anything into the universe and say this, love, man, find a way to love, mm -hmm. find a way to love, be relentless in your love. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Tell you goddamn lady, man, look at woman, I love you. Look in the eyes, goddamn, put yeah. your hands on the neck, push, it, push, it, push her against the wall a little bit and say, look here, baby, I goddamn love the hell out you. Oh, I got some pickup line now. Um... I'm going out tonight, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Uh, hold her hand, you know what hold I'm talking hand. about? Mm -hmm. Open the door for her, you know? Um, but way more than that, just be responsible to dope. Uh, and to the women out here, understand, you. Uh, even though that pussy is golden, mm -hmm. you are a woman. Mm -hmm. you know the value of who you are. You know, a lot of these boys, they say they sold for a little bit of hole, man. But the goal is really the woman. Steady the woman. Mm -hmm. Be patient with her. You know, make her laugh, bit dog. <laughs> you make her laugh, man. You on the right path. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, that's <always> my notebook. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm trying to drop something for you now, bit daddy. <laughs> but, uh, nah, uh. That's 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 pretty much all I got for the uh, for the grasshoppers and the butterflies is this: keep it simple, mm -hmm. keep it simple, man. Keep and, it simple. Yeah, just keep it simple. Wow! So that was Sunny, Sunny, Sunny Champ, Sunny Champ, the owner of Paint and Power Production. Yes, sir. He's a music producer, and he says he's the water. Yes, sir. Without the water. And uh, just so I can plug this in, the voice of Pain and Power Productions, when you hear that tag, is my bloodline. That is Brittany Champion mm -hmm. and Rikaya. Rikaya Champion, my niece and my sister. You know what I'm talking about? My sister and my niece. We keep everything 100. We keep everything in love. So I got no choice but to win. All right. Talking about your sister and playing a part in what you do, and before you even tell us how or where we can find you. Is yeah. there anybody you want to shout out? Like, hey, what's up? That's me. Yeah. Anybody you want to shout out to? Yeah, I want to give a big shout out to Etta Roof. That's my mama. Mm -hmm. Big, 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 big shout out to Etta Roof. That woman made me. What's up, mama? Equal, equal echo to Rick Bear. That's my daddy. Mm -hmm. Equal echo to my sister, Brittany Bear. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Brickaya. That's my niece. Braylon, that's my nephew. Uh, everybody else, you know, I love y'all equally. That's the core right there. That is Pain and Power Productions. My goal is to just tell my mama, man, just sit down. 
take take that break. We got this. It's mm-hmm. a machine. Mm-hmm. Everything your son thought came to life because he did that. He did that. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm trying to sort of shed away my emotions when you're talking about. Yeah, let me put on an act. Wow, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, man, um, it was nice, Sonny, 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 Sonny Champ, the owner of Paint and Power Production. How can they find you, man? Uh, you can find me, uh, Instagram, P- Pain and Power Productions. Pain, the word and a n d, Power Productions. Facebook, same thing. Pain A N D Power Productions YouTube same thing Pain A N D Power Productions mm-hmm. uh, you can go to Pain and Power Productions dot com if you're looking for music you can contact me uh, I do non exclusive leases exclusive leases everything is I wouldn't say negotiable but everything is negotiable when it comes down to good music and good people mm-hmm. I appreciate you creative people. This is Creativity. It's an idea podcast, a source of creativity for creative people. If you're listening, this was the guest, Sonny Champ, the owner of Pain and Power Production. And anything you heard him say, especially his um, handles and how to contact him, will be in the description. So feel free to scroll and just click on a link or click on an Instagram link just to see what he's about. And if you're a music producer, just link up link up with him and see what could happen because good things could happen when you connect with people who are doers and the world do love a doer. So this is Creativity is an Idea and I was your host, Pirate. And please, before I go on cutting this off, I would encourage you to subscribe, rate us, share, review, and share with your friends again. You know, it will help us get more quality guests like Shane, Sonny, (laughs) (laughs) the other way around, Sonny Shane, Champ, Sonny Champ, my bad. Tone twisted. (laughs) (laughs) It will help us get more quality guests like Sonny Champ on the show so that you can get more value out of the show. And as always, please don't fuck up. But when you fuck up, make sure you fuck up real good to help others. Hey. And I was your host, Pyrick, and the guest was Sonny Champ. Sonny Champ, Pain and Power Productions in the building. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure, man. 